Although it may seem absurd, rocks can be deadly. Not just by falling on your head, you'd be surprised at how many creative ways there are to die from things found in nature. If you lick the wrong rock, you're toast. Therefore, you should arm yourself with a little more knowledge before you go out to feel some minerals. Here are 10 of the most dangerous minerals in the world. Number 10. Also known as mercury sulfide, the wine red solid form of mercury is a very hazardous mineral that can be fatal despite its attractive color. Cinnabar is found in the earth seems as a result of volcanic activity and in the vicinity of alkaline hot springs. It is also utilized for many other rather less prudent purposes, such as the refinement of elemental mercury. Throughout human history, people have valued and used cinnabar. This mineral is used to create vermilion, a beautiful red and scarlet color that has been employed by painters since ancient times. In the tragic city of Pompeii, archaeologists have discovered the Romans' love affair with cinnabar as an artistic medium. Not only were there some decidedly saucy murals heavily daubed with the color, but there was also a jar full of the stuff discovered in the town pigment shop. The Romans had endless uses for the vivid color painting of their statues on high days and holidays, their bodies when the religious festival dictated, and their walls when the passion in their pictures needed to be emphasized. Cinnabar and its pigment vermilion are still in use today, but the art world generally avoids the more dangerous artificial variety that is laced with mercury, even though the process of figuring out how to make it may have killed a lot of medieval alchemists. Nevertheless, artists today continue to reap the rewards of all their hazardous experiments. Number 9. Calcanthite is an extremely rare mineral that grows only in dry caves in very specific circumstances. Because of its extraordinarily vivid blue color, it is highly sought after as a crystal among those who enjoy pretty rocks but are willing to walk on the dangerous side. Due to its rarity, this minor copper ore is frequently found in copper veins close to the surface of copper mines. It is also available on the market and has been synthetically manufactured using a process that involves the use of copper sulfate solutions. This process is extremely dangerous and poisonous, so it should not be undertaken carelessly. I'm not sure that this is a stone that should be considered so relaxing, even though some people who feel like they know about these things claim that this deadly mineral can be used to calm the mind and prepare for meditation. In addition, ingesting it or even licking it can make you very sick. Therefore, only experts with the necessary experience and all the necessary safety equipment should ever attempt to make this stuff, even if it is really pretty apparently. Number 8. Here's a cool looking rock that looks like it belongs in a science fiction film or science project, but you ought to use caution because it has several hazardous qualities and even some electrical problems. What a wonderful mix. It turns out that the substance known as stibnite was used by our less knowledgeable ancestors to make our makeup. In fact, in some parts of the world, it's still occasionally used to prepare coal eyeliner or else lead sulfide, which is equally concerning and has occasionally resulted in lead poisoning in the mass manufacturing of coal products in the West may be used instead. Fortunately, the deadly toxins have been replaced with a ton of other approved ingredients, so everything is probably okay. This mineral is rarely discovered in large quantities, however it can be found in minor concentrations in many locations across the world, including the United States and Europe. Since its unusual crystalline structure and soft composition have allowed humans to access it for thousands of years, stibnite has also been used for a variety of purposes. While its use in cosmetics has been known since ancient Egypt, it is also present in contemporary safety matches and pyrotechnic compositions. Well, what's a little more toxic residue thrown around in the air anyway? Number 7. While most of us are aware that asbestos is undoubtedly dangerous, how much more do you actually know about it? To be completely honest, I had no idea that asbestos was a naturally occurring mineral. It seemed to me that given how horrible asbestos is and how much of it people seem to have crammed into buildings before realizing it was accidentally fatal, they must have invented it or something, but no. It's still permitted to be used in construction materials in the United States, which should reassure all of you Americans. They just discovered it and used it to create a lethal and omnipresent addition to every building until as recently as 1999, and that's just in the United Kingdom. Heat and corrosion resistance, as well as the fact that it conducts no electricity, make asbestos a valuable although somewhat risky mineral that is often used in construction. But the problem with asbestos is that its delicate fiber crystals are easily broken, and when inhaled, they produce a deadly, toxic dust that can cause terrible diseases in humans. Asbestos-related illnesses include lung cancer, mesothelioma, and asbestosis, all of which are, quite frankly, horrifying. So avoid doing things like knocking down drywall and other things because asbestos could be waiting to kill you. Number 6. 
Hutchinsonite is a beautiful mineral that contains a nasty combination of thallium lead and arsenic. Sounds lovely, right? Well, pretty much everything could go wrong. This mineral is full of all kinds of horribly dangerous things that will cause a whole lot of hideous and likely painful symptoms that are followed by death. Who knew that rocks were so bad? One of the most disgusting uncommon substances on the planet is thallium. Highly toxic, even a small amount of contact with it can result in serious illness, hair loss, and even death. This deadly cocktail is ideal for a murderous plot device, but it can seriously harm anyone nearby, so it should only be handled in a strictly regulated setting with tight safety precautions. It is primarily found in Europe's most mountainous locations, usually inside of or deposits, thus it is doubtful that you will just happen to stumble across a bit of it in your backyard. Number 5. What's next on our list of old deadly rocks? It kind of looks like kryptonite, but is this a material that drains alien superpowers or something that can kill regular people like us? One of the rocks on Earth called torbernite includes uranium, which makes it genuinely radioactive. It seems that you can get this lethal mineral on eBay for a very low price, but just because you can't doesn't mean you should. The general consensus regarding this shiny green stone is that it should only be handled with appropriate safety precautions. This is especially crucial when extracting these radioactive rocks because there is a high risk of breakage and breathing in the dust can have fatal consequences. In addition, this material is extremely dangerous. With each fresh discovery, the mineral starts to resemble kryptonite to humans if you're in close vicinity for a prolonged period of time. You might be thinking that finding this rock is unlikely, but that's not the case at all. Torbernite appears to be widespread in the geological features of places as disparate as Cornwall, UK, and Katanga Province, Congo, hence, even if torbernite is incredibly beautiful. If you do come into contact with it, wash your hands and move on quickly. Number 4. I know that rocks aren't really capable of plotting, but seriously, who knew that so many of them could kill you? There's so much toxic stuff out there that it's amazing that any of us survive at all. All these shiny things that pretend to be harmless are actually plotting our depths at every turn. Cold-blooded stone and quartz it turns out that this substance, which is the second most abundant mineral on earth, is extremely lethal. There is little chance of totally avoiding quartz because it is a common mineral found widely throughout the world in a variety of rock formations. However, you don't need to flee screaming for the hills just because you see a quartz formation, it won't stab you in the heart or even subtly poison you with uranium. No, quartz isn't deadly, rather, the dust that is produced when quartz is ground up can be easily inhaled, which is extremely bad news for living breathing humans as it leads to lung disease and eventually cancer. Because of this, many industries that use quartz, such as mining, abrasives, and glass manufacturing, have strict policies in place to protect workers, but even so, operating a quartz processing facility in your garden shed is a really risky business. Number 3. You should refrain from licking this rock. I know it's hard, but you'll thank me later. Galena is the naturally occurring mineral form of lead sulfide. This should be enough of a clue that it's not a very healthy rock. Since ancient times, galena has been utilized as the primary source of lead extraction. It was great to throw a piece of galena in the fire and smell the lovely lead that came out of it with little to no fuss, but obviously all that lead couldn't be good for you. It turns out that the ancient Egyptians were also partial to dabbing a little galena around their eye holes. That's right, these insane makeup addicts were smearing lead-laden galena onto their eyelids, looking really pretty. So all that lead poisoning probably wasn't a huge problem for them at all during the night when they weren't coating their delicate eye area in stem. In addition to having a noteworthy past in the United States, galena is the source of lead. Furthermore, galena contains up to 0.5 silver. Over the ages, the mining industries in Kansas, Missouri, and Wisconsin have placed such a strong emphasis on this mineral that it has become the official state mineral of each of those three states. Yes, that's right, official minerals exist. Number 2. Is there any rock out there that isn't trying to kill us? This thing is packed full of freaking arsenic. I know it's bright and shiny, but don't get mesmerized by it. Orpiment's striking bright yellow hue made it a sought-after, if somewhat lethal, pigment for the artist's palette. Since orpiment can contain up to 60 arsenic, Renaissance painters who insisted on using the canary yellow hue were risking their lives to dull it onto their canvases. However, this mineral had been captivating people for ages with its seductively vivid colors since ancient times. It was used to paint the walls of Tutankhamun's tomb, and the Emperor Caligula tried to melt large amounts of orpiment in an attempt to create gold. It was also used in ancient texts throughout India, and afterwards on the walls of the Taj Mahal. It was also used in artwork and illuminated scrolls in Europe until the 19th century. 
After all, what harm can a little bit of arsenic do to anyone? Number 1. There are two types of this particular mineral, which are probably the most toxic on the list. The first is known as blue asbestos, and we'll talk about it in a moment. If you ask any rock enthusiasts, and I'm sure you know a lot of them, they'll tell you that this kind is somewhat different but still garbage. This variety of rebekite is typically found in areas with other igneous rocks, such as granite, and is typically constructed of crystals that are either a rich dark blue hue or black. It is typically generated from volcanic rock and is harder than its fibrous asbestos relative. There are many of these in Arizona, Colorado, Massachusetts, and other parts of the world, such as South Africa, Greenland, and Portugal. The most well-known application of the stone, if you can really call anything this particular niche famous, comes from the Scottish island of Elsa Craig, where it is used to make curling stones. Yes, curling is that strange winter sport where large stones are slid down ice towards a target while people run around with brooms trying to make the whole thing go more smoothly. It's strange, but it's also kind of cool. Maybe there's more going on there than just the vibrations crystal fans are experiencing. Maybe they're handling a radioactive rock or something highly contaminated with a fatal poison. Share your opinions with me in the comments section below. Also be sure to check out some of our other videos and I'll see you next time.